In this video, we compare two different gear systems. The black gear system is 3D printed using nylon composite material, while the red gear system is made from standard PLA. Throughout the video, we evaluate each system's maximum performance and determine whether either can overheat or burn. The PLA gear system was printed using the widely known FDM method, whereas the nylon gear was produced using the SLS method, where individual layers are heated and fused with a laser. JLC sponsors this video. A link is provided in the description. We'll share more about them later. The gear systems we are analyzing consist of two stages. The first stage features a planetary gear system, while the second stage, a split ring, provides the gear system with its power. Let's take a closer look at the gear components. What immediately stands out is that the nylon parts feel significantly cleaner and smoother. The integrated ball bearings generate considerably less friction compared to the PLA gear system. You can see the layer lines on the PLA gear, especially where support structures were used, leading to imperfect surfaces. One advantage of PLA printed parts is the ease of embedding nodes by melting them in. I attempted the same process with the nylon parts and it worked without any issues. However, it's worth noting that a bit more heat is required and the nylon parts take slightly longer to warm up. Both PLA and SLS printed nylon gears can be fine-tuned with sandpaper. Before we set the gears on fire, here's a quick montage demonstrating how the gears are assembled. First, I press the steel balls into the ball bearings. They stay in place even if you shake the gear part slightly. Additional steel balls are integrated into the ring gear, which constitutes the first stage. This design allows the second stage to rotate over the first stage with less friction. A NEMA 23 motor fits perfectly into the recesses of the first stage of the gear system. The two parts are connected using screws and nuts. The sun gear is mounted on the motor shaft and the planetary gears are arranged around it. The second stage, also known as the output of the gear system, is placed onto the first stage. A deep groove ball bearing is installed in the output to reduce friction between the gear output and the gear mount. The gear mount holds all the components together and is secured to the first stage with screws. This is what the finished gear system looks like. Now let's compare the weights. The SLS printed nylon gear system weighs 1,339 grams, while the PLA printed gear system weighs 1,246 grams. To measure the maximum force, I first attach the nylon gear system to my rover mount, securing it with three bolt screws. As we gradually increase the load on the gear system, I'd like to introduce my video sponsor. JLC 3DP offers a variety of 3D printing solutions. You can easily upload your STL files and choose from a range of materials, including standard options like PLA and resin, as well as more advanced materials like nylon or metal using the SLS printing process. As for the gear test, we measured a maximum force of 12.7 kilograms for the nylon system. Next, we'll test the PLA gear system. Meanwhile, I can tell you that JLC 3DP offers fast delivery times and can handle high volume production for larger projects. Most orders can be completed within 48 to 72 hours. JLC has partnerships with various logistics companies worldwide, allowing them to ship to almost every corner of the globe. They are committed to providing customers with high quality and affordable prototypes. You can find an offer for new users in the video description. Returning to the PLA gear system, we achieved an impressive maximum force of 19.5 kilograms. I'm a bit surprised and I'm wondering if you have any ideas about why this might be the case. I expected both gears to produce roughly the same amount of force. Now let's set the gears on fire in a controlled and safe environment. 
Using a torch lighter, we will try to ignite the upper edge of each gear. With the PLA gear, a flame ignites after a short period. Even without the lighter, the gear continues to burn and bubbles of charred plastic begin to form. It's essential to avoid inhaling those fumes. In contrast, the nylon gear behaves differently. As the nylon melts, small bubbles do form, but it doesn't continue to burn once the flame is removed. Even after the test, the nylon gear appears almost undamaged. Overall, the PLA gear shows significantly more damage compared to the nylon gear. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.